Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Draval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Derval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me, while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Let me get this straight. Your warrior princess is barely cold in her grave, and you're lining me up to take her place? W what? No, sun and shadow, that's not what I meant. All right, I, I can see how my choice of words came off as presumptuous, but I meant no disrespect. By the sun, this is not how I imagined this conversation would go. Look, I'll be forever grateful. And you are always welcome here. Just hope our next chat goes better than this one.
Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. You got anything better to do? put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Enduring victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, doesn't seem to have turned out very well. 
Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the phantoms. Another day in the life! Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. But keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> Soldiers slept. With the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen. What was this place? The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. I guess they were used to it. <laughs> Just one bed. Maybe their war chief's room. informative. Three power lines, three sources. That makes one. Two. One more.
for answers, just weapons. Can't even...
might even not. You will not escape this. What is this? That 